Hey Crew, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassandra if you are new and I wanted to make this video as real life as possible because I get so many questions on how I fit in meal planning for an entire month for my family. So I'm bringing you guys along with me today and I'm gonna start my meal plan here. What I did this morning is I went through my fridge and my pantry, figured out like what I had. I cleaned everything out, got everything re-put back together. Today is Monday. I won't go grocery shopping until Saturday. So I have five days, six, five days to get my meal plan together here uh, I also already went through and made a list of all my household things that I'm going to need like toilet paper and conditioner shampoo that sort of thing but because I just went through my fridge and my pantry I'm gonna start with the meals that I have ingredients for already that I want to use up and while I'm doing this I'm cooking lunch so I've got fish chicks in the air fryer mac and cheese up on the stove and I'm just gonna jot down a couple meals while I'm making lunch and while I'm prepping dinner as well. I'm gonna throw that in the crock pot hopefully as well right now. So this is just really how it goes down. Everybody finished lunch. I didn't even put it away. It's just gonna chill on the counter for a minute. I currently have nine meals right now just off of what I know is in my pantry and I have a ton of condiments in my fridge that I'm looking to get rid of. So we're gonna do a teriyaki chicken, a barbecue chicken, um, and a barbecued pork chop just to get rid of some of those bottles that are like half full out of the fridge because they've been in there a long time and they're kind of driving me nuts. So we're going to get rid of those. We're going to use some of those up. I also need to come up with around seven lunch ideas for me and the kids that are home during the day, making sure that I have enough there. And I also know that obviously Easter is in April, which is the month I'm currently planning for. So I wanna make sure that there's no breaks from school so that my kids that are school aged, uh, if they're gonna be home, I need to plan for that for lunches and also for um, making sure they have extra snacks and things like that for those days. I am not hosting Easter this year, my sister-in-law is. So I'm just gonna come up with like one or two side items that I'm gonna end up bringing for Easter because we always do holidays potluck style. So. A couple things I'm thinking about while making this meal plan is lunches, dinners, Easter, and all of all of those things. I have a pretty decent list sitting in front of me and this is the time where once I have gone through the obvious items that are like fridge, pantry, and whatever's in my freezer, I will then usually turn to Pinterest and see what I have saved. Favorite meal ideas or really easy dinners and figure out what I wanna make April is also a month where we could get some really nice weather or we could get some really not good weather. It just kind of depends uh, on the year for us. So I'm also going to plan just one or two meals that we could put out on the grill if we happen to get a nice day because when it's nice, we want to grill. So that's really just the thinking that I have when I'm sitting down to make my meal plan. I'm also comfortable. I'm sitting on the couch. It's easy right now. My kids are kind of like entertaining themselves. They're like running around and playing together, playing with toys, doing whatever, and I'm just gonna kind of observe them playing and make my meal plan. And then if it gets to the point where they want me to play with them or I have to put it down to focus on something else, it's fine because I have another couple of days to figure out this meal plan and put the finishing touches on it and things. So I'm not super stressed thinking about my meal plan, trying to cram it out in you know, the hour before I'm going grocery shopping. So I've got some time to figure it out. I don't have to do it all at once. And that's something that makes me sitting down to make my meal plans really easy because it's just leisurely. And if I only get nine meals down right now, it doesn't really matter. I am actually having the biggest brain fart right now. I think I kind of hit my limit for the day. I have 11 meals and one lonely lunch idea. I think my brain just isn't quite working today. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna call this good. I'm just gonna put this meal plan up and revisit it either tomorrow or maybe even later today if a couple meals hit to me. I usually just keep this up on my counter and as I think of meals, I'll write them down or usually my husband will see it sitting up on the counter and he'll add things to the list if he knows he has something that he really wants. So I will most likely see you guys uh, tomorrow while we continue on with the meal plan process or whenever I scroll Pinterest and find something that looks really really good I'll probably add that to the list too so afternoon cup of coffee I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'm gonna keep scrolling and just slowly adding to my list until I don't feel like doing it anymore I was scrolling Pinterest because we wanted to make some cookies so we got those cookies made and then as the cookies were baking in the oven I sat down and kept scrolling and now I'm finding meals and 
things that I want to do for videos and things like that. Uh, so I sat down and started writing things on my meal plan. I thought I should really pull up my camera because this is the video that I'm making today. So what I typed in actually is meatless meals because I have a video that I am going to be filming all about how to basically keep in budget during inflation when it comes to grocery shopping and just because prices are getting really high and I see a ton of videos right now about people talking about how prices are inflating, why the prices are inflating and I figured because that's what I do on my channel is keep everything in a budget. I'm just gonna share with you guys a couple tips on how to do that, how I've been doing that, keeping in my grocery budget and things like that over you know the last couple of months as things are getting really pricey. And one of those tips is going to be meatless meals. So to go along with that video, I wanna do a separate video on basically like a what's for dinner, but showing you guys meatless meals that I'm gonna be making throughout the month of April. So I typed into Pinterest here, literally just meatless meals, and there are so many great meal ideas. I have a list here of meals that I wanna mention, so it's like, veggie chili, so many pasta dishes that look really great with no meat in them, meatless pizzas, which is basically just like a veggie lover's pizza or even just a plain cheese pizza, all the things that I think are still really good, but it's giving me a lot of ideas on how to do more meatless meals other than the ones that I typically do. So I've got a good list of those. I'm scrolling and we try to do fish for dinner or like a seafood for dinner once a week. However, that's kind of gotten scratched as prices are getting higher. But I do have a ton of mahi-mahi in my freezer right now. That's the, pretty much the only fish my husband will eat other than like a walleye or something if we're doing a fish fry. So I'm gonna look up some mahi-mahi recipes because he requested doing like mahi-mahi and cauliflower rice and stuff. So... I just want to get some new recipes because the basic one we've been doing is I think we just need a refresh So I'm gonna find a couple new recipes. Okay, so I see this mahi mahi right here, and it looks delicious It's in a lemon garlic sauce. I think my husband would really like that. Oh my gosh, that's crazy Does anyone else hate how the recipe is always way at the bottom and you have to scroll through like a blogger's whole life story to get to the recipe uh, just give me the recipe, all right? Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna need lemon juice, which I already have, shallots, garlic, which I already have, chicken broth, which I already have, heavy cream, which I always get, cornstarch I have, salt, pepper, and parsley. So what I'm going to do is uh, my grocery list here, which is actually on the exact same piece of paper, just on the back side of my meal plan. I'm gonna make sure that I write down shallots because I'm gonna need those because I don't have them. Heavy cream, which I usually always get, but just so I can figure out like how many meals I need it for, I'll put a tally mark behind the heavy cream, which represents one meal. I know that I'm gonna need it for the fettuccine alfredo that I already have on my meal plan, so I'm gonna put another tally mark there for two meals. That way I can figure out just about how much heavy cream I'm actually going to need uh, when I go to place my grocery order. And there we go. So, I'm gonna flip back to my meal plan and just keep scrolling. The other thing I really like to type into Pinterest is just like budget meals. I will just scroll this until I find something. I don't always find things, but sometimes I'll see like this chicken noodle casserole and I'll go, oh, that reminds me of this like chicken and rice casserole that we haven't done in a while, so then I'll write that down. It just helps spark the ideas flowing, so I'm just gonna kind of scroll this for a while and see if I can find anything that looks good. And when I get bored of doing this, or my kids decide that they really need me. Hi, Mom. Hey, dude. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi, Mom. Oh, I like your shoes. And my socks. Yeah, I like those. That's in the... Yeah, but I don't like that they're on my counter, so do you think you could put your butt in a chair instead of on the counter? Yeah. Yeah, can you do that for me? Yeah. Thank you. Can I help you up? <laughs> you need some help? One, two, three. One, two, three, go! Perfect. Do you want to come sit next to me in this chair? Come sit. The higher. The higher. You're going to kick that water off the counter, though, for real. Okay, Mom. 
can you come sit right here? I really need some new lunch ideas, especially as we're moving into a new season. April is kind of where I start bringing out uh, summer meals, spring meals, just like grilling, a lot more fresh stuff because that's what the prices are good for in the grocery store. And also after eating a lot of soups and stews and casseroles all winter long, we're really looking forward to getting some fresh stuff, some lighter things back in our diet. I'm just gonna scroll Pinterest and do the same thing. I just typed in lunch ideas. I'm gonna scroll for a little bit until I find some good things. I like to plan a bigger lunch for weekends because that's when all five of us are home and I need something more sustainable. So that might be um, one where we do power bowls or I prep like a really big pizza for lunch or something. But I need some new ideas so I'm gonna scroll for a while. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Go for right down the side. PCH got your limit. I don't need a guide. Follow lights. Take me where I want to visit. Are you alive? I'll just breathe it. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Go for right all of my dinners which feels really really good now I'm just looking to finish one more lunch idea I'm trying to scroll Pinterest up on the computer and I'm like not finding anything that sounds really good I'm trying to rotate through some new lunches and I think I mentioned that earlier so I'm gonna keep scrolling try to find one more and then I'm gonna be completely done which is good because tomorrow I go grocery shopping I wasn't able to touch my meal plan for three days and that's why I like to start early because it gives me enough time where if I like I had a ton of really random things come up uh, and then one of my kids had a lot of homework so by the time the kids went to bed I didn't even want to touch this meal plan but that being said this is almost done I'm going to go ahead and finish off my grocery list here um, now that I have my meal plan pretty much finished off and then I'm going to be completely done and ready to go grocery shopping in the morning which is really really good. Also when I do this over the course of a couple of days I always make sure that I look over what I did for meals previously because sometimes like I did this in three separate sections well four sections actually. Uh, I sat down and did meals like one through nine and then I did the, all these ones that are written in pen and then earlier today I came and wrote down a couple meals and then I finished off this afternoon. So I always make sure that I review my meals what I already have because otherwise sometimes I'll have meals written down like two or three times, which is okay. I just want to make sure that I'm okay with whatever meal I've written down a couple of times, ever going to eat more than once throughout the month, make sure that I have all the ingredients to eat it that many times. I'm just gonna flip back and forth and any ingredients that I need special of, I'm gonna add to my grocery list on this half of the paper. And that way when I go grocery shopping, I'll have like a little cheat sheet on one half of all the things that I need. And then my grocery list on the other side or my meal plan on the other side. So it's easy for me to flip back and forth. And then I'm gonna be done. So I'm gonna finish that off really quick. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago.